Hey everybody, in this video, we're gonna be going over listed greeting. And this one asks us to write a function greeting that takes a string as an input. So here's our function greeting. Here's our string as the input or an argument or parameter. And it has three pieces of information in it and it wants us to extract Jose and hockey. It does not use 17 in here anywhere. That string will be formatted as name, age, hobby. So name, age, and hobby without any punctuation. Greeting should be split or should split their response into list elements. So we need to use the split keyword for the split function to split it into a list. Then use index values. And last time we learned that at some point, Jose will be at zero. 17 will be at index one and hockey will be at index two. It's not right now, but it will be when we do it. And then it just wants us to print something out. And then it says, make sure to return an output that matches this format. So here's the arrows that'll let you guys know that it's returning something. We're going to go ahead and print it first to make sure that it works. And then in the end, we're going to go ahead and return it when we do the unit test. So right now we want to be in scratch pad. There's going to be two files, scratchpad.py and unit test. When we're done, we'll go over to unit test and paste it in our function definition. So <clears throat> last one I did a little bit for you. This one, not so much, but I'm going to give you guys the ideas. So let's go ahead and create a function. I'm just going to call it my function because I'm not creative. And we will call this um, a sentence. So real generic name, sentence. This is one parameter. And then let's go ahead and call the function my function. Always two parts. You make the function and then you call it. And then we'll just do something like, hi there, Steve. And then we will go ahead and let's just do a print of sentence to make sure that this is working. To make sure that this is actually stored in sentence. So then if we run this. We'll see it says, hi there, Steve. Good. I can delete that now, but it wants us to go ahead and it wants us to split. Um, uh, should split their response. And that's a function that we can use. So we can take a string and we can do something called split on it. Now this split is, um, a function on strings that takes a parameter. And if it doesn't have a parameter, it's going to go ahead and split it by spaces. So every time it sees a space, like between Jose and 17 and 17 and hockey, it'll go ahead and make Jose one element. In fact, let's just print this out and I will show you. So hi there and Steve, if I were to split it by the letter T, there's one T here, two T's here. So every time there's a T, It'll go ahead and split it by the T looks super weird, uh, but that's what it's doing. And we're just going to give it nothing because we want to split it by space. Hi there and Steve. Now I would like to do something with this list on the next line. Therefore I should store what's being returned from the split function into a variable. So I will call it my list. Again, not super descriptive because I'm trying to be real generic here. Your program should have very specific variable names. For instance, this could be like, um, actually let's call it sentence, sentence list. And that kind of lets me know that from the sentence string I have up here, I am creating a list and okay, let's go ahead and print this just to make sure that it's still working as I think it should be working. Sentence list should print out the same thing. All right. Last time we also learned that I can get a single item. Maybe I didn't learn that. Yeah. You can get a single item from a list. Um, if you don't remember that, if I want to get this item here, this element, it is at index zero. So one thing to remember is lists. The first item has an index of zero and then it just counts up from there. So if I were to hit run, now I get high. Go back. Let's do another print. I'm just going to copy this, put it down here. If I want to get the word Steve, it is not three. 
even though it's the third word, it's zero, one, and two. It's the two index. Boom, two, run it, Steve. Let's go. And for this one, we want to grab very specific words from this one string. You guys are, should now be able to do that. Um, I would go ahead and, well, this is okay to do it like that. And then again, it wants you guys to return a value. So instead of printing, like we did last time, I showed you guys that you want to go ahead and change it to return. And then I would suggest using an F string for yours and then putting this whole thing in quotes or not quotes, but um, curly braces and being like, um, this is the word Steve in ours, right? Hi there, Steve. And I'll do Steve um, curly brace is awesome. And then quotes. And yeah. Now, when I get this, when I return this value, it's going to going to go ahead and go here. So it'll say Steve is awesome. And then I would like to print that just to see how it looks because a line that looks like this does absolutely nothing. I should store it inside of a, uh, a variable first. So maybe we call it like result equals, and then go ahead and print the result. So now I would go ahead and run it and it should say Steve is awesome. If I did this properly, if not, we'll just go ahead and fix it. And it says Steve is awesome. So using F strings is really nice. Just got to remember to put curly braces around your variables. All right. I think that's enough to go ahead and complete yours. And then just remember to copy this function definition and paste it over here. All right, everybody take care. Bye-bye.